All right, so today I am going to talk to you about um, my favorite, in my last video I talked about my favorite YouTubers in the cryptocurrency space in general. Today I'm going to talk about my favorite YouTubers primarily in the smart contract space. Um, and I'm actually doing these videos within, you know, just a few minutes apart. I'm actually going to be heading out of town. I'm doing some traveling. I don't know how I'll be able to put videos out, but I know what it's like when you follow certain YouTubers and you kind of like, you kind of jones for a little bit of their information each day. Um, and some of the channels I've, I've showed you to, I mean, I check, I check a lot of them daily. Um, and so I know kind of what that's like. And I'm, I'm like, you know what? I, I want to be able to for those who watch my videos, I mean, I don't know that there's any of you that want to watch my video every single day, and I don't know if anyone actually even uses the bell notification icons for my channel, um, but I do know that people obviously watch it, so, you know, I figured I'd at least give you something to watch each and every day. Well, not every day, most of the days that I'm going to be traveling, and I, it doesn't mean that I won't give other videos out as well. I just, there's just, this is a good time for me to do videos that I've been wanting to do anyway that isn't necessarily time sensitive. <laughs> All right, so these are my favorite video, my favorite YouTubers in the smart contract space. So let's just get this started. These are in no particular order, by the way. Well, oh, actually, hang on a minute. Yeah, they're in no particular order, except maybe from least dramatic flair on their channel to maybe more dramatic flair. And I'm not saying they're drama, I'm saying there's just a lot of dramatic flair in their type of content. These first couple are real even kill and everything that they write. There's not a whole lot of passion. They're just kind of, you know, for the most part, that's not hundred percent. I'm just telling you, I'm looking at how I've got this lineup and that might be how one way you could do it. But first up, 3D Crypto puts out great content, doesn't put it out every day, but he puts out great content, um, consistent with what he puts out. And, uh, I would definitely recommend you come over here and check out his videos. Under All of these channels are so underrated, it's ridiculous. I think all of them have under 1,000 subscribers. 3D Crypto may be the largest one. And part of it is because the smart contract space is so new. Like, listen, if you don't know what a smart contract is, it's basically a program or a decentralized application that runs on a blockchain. In this case, we're talking about the Ethereum blockchain. And if I just spoke Greek to you, you should Google that terminology because this is technology that is going to transform the entire freaking world that you live in. And if you don't even know that yet, then you've got to get with the times. You want to know what's coming in the future? Smart contracts are coming without question. And so it's a bit of a niche market right now inside the crypto space. In fact, it's a small niche, but it will become a niche that I believe will dominate the cryptocurrency space and eventually the world at large. So... Starting it off with 3D Crypto, come check out his channel, come subscribe, it's phenomenal. The gentleman next up is, um, he's, a, he's kind of a great guy to watch. He does a lot of different styles. He puts a lot of time and a lot of effort in his videos. You definitely want to check him out, and that is P3D Heme. Now, he's a P3D maximalist, pretty much. At least his channel has been. Uh, he recently sold a lot of his P3D, and... He claimed it was for education use, and I kind of gave him a hard time. I saw him in Discord, and I kind of gave him a hard time about that. Um, but, you know, he's, he's well-educated. He's an engineer. He's got multiple degrees, but he believes in this space. And he, he in, in cryptocurrency, is a bit of his hobby. And he loves, loves P3D. Um, he, when he sold, he did not sell all of his tokens. He sold a majority stake of his position. And I recently saw, I think in Discord, or maybe he mentioned on one of his channels, that he was getting back in. I saw this video earlier on my phone. Um, I think he said he was getting back in. In fact, it was this video that prompted the video that I hosted that talked about uh, legal trouble. If you take a look at that, it went up on Sunday or Monday morning, but it said legal trouble. If you go back and look two or three videos on my channel, it was this video. I had been thinking about it for a while. I saw some stuff in Discord, and when he had this video, I thought, okay, I need to go. I, I've got some things I got to get off my chest, so I made a video about it. P3D Heme is all, oh, only 460 subscribers. Man, come subscribe to P3D Heme. Hit that bell notification icon. Boom. In fact, I'm going to make sure I do that with all of these guys. Okay, I got crypto. I mean, th these are great people with smaller channels, but they're passionate about what they're talking about. They're serious about what they're talking about. Come check them out. Okay. The next person I'm going to channel who's I'm going to highlight 
is an incredible, incredible human being. And the fact that I just said that, everybody in this space knows who I'm talking about. Um, this gentleman actually is really about giving back to the community and paying it forward. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's in the cryptocurrency space because he believes in it. He's a big investor in this space. Um, he's been in a lot of projects or part of a lot of, he has a lot of different investments, but he was a major, major player in the P3D space. And that is FAFIM. Now here's the thing, FAFIM and I diverge a little bit. He recently sold his entire position in P3D. He says he would be willing to come in at a lower level um, and maybe he, I mean, maybe he very well, we'll, we'll see. Um, he's also talked about not caring about um, the Ethereum blockchain, et cetera, et cetera. But he's a solid individual. He has a very positive channel. Only 391 subscribers, Faf. You got to get that up. He's a, but let me tell you, in P3D, he went out of his way. I actually commented, I saw him in Discord. I said, hey man, just want you to know, I really enjoy watching your videos. And he said, I'm going to make a reinvestment. I don't want to use your masternode. Okay, I don't advertise my masternode. I don't give it out or anything. And I, and I almost told him, no, don't worry about it. But I thought, okay, well, you know, that's, he's, I thought I would be taking away, part of me thought maybe I would be taking away a bit of a, a blessing, if that's the right term. And I hope that's not a term that he sees as offensive, but I, it's a term that I recognize. I thought I would be taking away a blessing. You know, he was trying to, he was wanting to, you know, do something good for me, um, put some, you know, kind of pay it forward a little bit. Um, and, you know, I'm one of his loyal watchers. I watch most of his videos um, between my phone and my uh, computer. And, you know, he did make an investment and it was a sizable amount. Like, I mean, I don't know how much it was exactly. I didn't do the math on it, but all of a sudden I was like, wow, okay. I'm going to use my master note. And he's done that sort of thing with a lot of smaller investors. In fact, small, small investors he's done that for. Um, there's a, a newer YouTuber out there. I cannot think of his name right now. He's coming on some of my videos. Um, oh, I think it's Lib... Oh, my goodness. I'm drawing a blank. But anyway, he talked about him being a, an absolute man, a very small, small, small investor with just a few P3D tokens. I don't even think he had more than a couple hundred dollars. And FAFIM put in like 44 ETH, I think he said, or 34 ETH. Or, it was a lot. It was a lot. A huge, nothing. I mean... It, it was massive amount of, of ETH that he invested through his masternode, which of course he got 3% of that um, in Ethereum or P3D tokens or whatever, uh, Ethereum. Um, so that's just the kind of guy that he was. He was very much an integral part of the community. And to be honest with you, he's missed in the community. We all liked his energy. We liked who he was. We liked what he stood for. Um, we all really thought that he believed in this space as much as we did. Um, and it's okay that he didn't. And the reality is he was dealing with big numbers. I think someone said that he went from $250,000 to like eight or 900,000. I don't know if that's right. Um, but if it is, none of us have to deal with numbers that big. So no one can judge him for, I mean, making a decision like that when you think, uh, could I lose that? I mean, that's, that's a whole different level of emotional calculation that you have to think about and try not to get greedy, try not to be fearful and just make a wise decision. And he talked about having a dream where his mother-in-law came to him and said, don't be greedy. And that was confirmation for him. And he sold and he sold out 100% as far as anybody knows. Um, but that doesn't make his channel. I mean, his content is good. He's a bit of an independent thinker, uh, it appears like. And I love that quality about him. So I definitely recommend you come over to his channel, subscribe, hit the bell notification. And I know this video is longer than my last video, but I got a lot of love for these guys um, just because you hear their passion and there, and, and some of them, there's a lot more overlap in some of their beliefs and my beliefs in the cryptocurrency space than, say, a big general channel like Box Mining. Next up, probably one of the most fun channels in this space, Crypto Yardy. You need to come. He recently, I'm assuming, he's always said it. There's no way to prove it. He's remaining anonymous, but he says, and so you might as well believe him. And he put this video up, um, which is basically part cover and part original of Lionel Richie's uh, song Stuck On You, but he made, he kind of did a spoof on it for P3D. He, is, he announced that he's back in, he's taking a position. He had also recently sold out, but he's back in. Uh, this guy is just massive in the community. You can see his main thing up here is P3D. This is his, his, his game, his jam. This is what he believes in. Very talented. He's got 
three songs about P3D, three videos out. This one, then he's got the original for P3D, then he's got one from FOMO 3D. This guy is, is incredible. He's a beast, and his channel's kind of funny to listen to. Um, he tries to be well-mannered on his channel. I mean, he's very conscientious about how people are going to take what he says, but he's an incredible guy, incredibly, incredibly talented. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, I didn't have the bell notification, Yardy. That's crazy. That was a sin. I just got it. Make sure you hit the bell notification. Um, and uh, his, his stuff is just good. I love Yardy's stuff. It'll make you smile. It'll make you laugh. Um, he's, he's got a unique character. He's got a great accent. I think he's from the islands originally. At least he sounds that way. Uh, I could be 100% wrong on that. Uh, but he definitely, uh, I think he's in the UK now in Europe. Um, love his content, love when he puts out stuff, hope he gets back to posting daily when it comes to P3D and the Proof of Weekends smart contracts. All right, next up, this next person I'm going to talk about, actually, I don't even know if I'm subscribed to this person, but I find myself actually searching their channel more and more, so that's why if I'm subscribed, I totally forgot about it. Um, but the next person that I'm going to be talking about is right here. Boom. Blockchain for what is best. Listen. Listen, this is what made me say probably from one of the least dramatic to most dramatic. He has an absolutely dramatic channel and his personality is eccentric uh, without question. But one of the things I love the most about blockchain for what is best is he is an original idea thinker. I have had the privilege of knowing three or four people in his exact same mold, his exact same type of personality, his exact same style. He's mentioned that he's had trouble with various uh, relationships. I'm assuming he means friendships and whatnot and probably female relationships in his past. And, and the, the couple of guys I'm thinking of, about three or four guys I'm thinking of, are very similar uh, in, in their mannerisms. Uh, this guy is a, a talented artist. He runs a successful business. He's an entrepreneur. He's he loves to surf. He talks about it, and but he loves this smart contract space. I think he calls it the smart deposit contract or virtual deposit contract. Yes, virtual deposit contract. I said it right. Um, he he has an awesome channel. He is all over the board. So, I mean, he comes off as bipolar part of the time. He hates one project. He loves one project. And for a while, he hated P3D. He liked P3D. He was loyal to P3D and everybody thought he was amazing. And then, or um, then he apologized and he, you know, he, he went ahead and, and bashed the community a little bit. And he's only getting off again. But you, what you have to appreciate about him is he's original. You can't be offended by him, or he's going to offend you. Right here, he got pissed off at Yardy about something. I forget. I didn't know what that was about. Um, I do remember thinking, ah, I don't know if Yardy meant it the way he took it, but it, it's okay. That this is just blockchain for what is best. Um, it's who he is, and you know, no one's going to change that. But he's he works really hard to be independent. He does not want to fit in anybody's mold. He's definitely not what you would consider a quote unquote sheep, so to speak. Um, he's kind of charting his own path and trying to figure out how to make his own way in this world. He loves decentralization. He loves cryptocurrency. Specifically, he loves the deposit contract aspect of it. He sees a tremendous amount of, of value here, much like I do. I disagree with some of the stuff. And by the way, he's, he covers a lot of different projects, which is cool. Um, I, of all the people that I would like to speak with or have a conversation with about this stuff, it would be him. And I'll tell you why. I disagree with some of what he says, but he has very well thought out reasons for why he says what he says. And I don't know that I would still agree with it, but I would love to like banter back and forth uh, with him without question. Um, but uh, overall, great, great channel. I mean, you're not going to find many channels like his. Very unique. Oh, look at that. Got to hit that bell notification icon. I didn't realize I didn't have that on all these guys. I, I check all these guys' channels pretty much every single day. So, I mean, they don't know it, but on their YouTube accounts, I am one of them without question. And I typically hit a thumbs up icon. I don't always comment. I've been working on trying to get better at that. But I definitely hit thumbs up on almost every video I watch. I... Um, and I, I watch most of their videos every single day. So I would recommend that you come check out Blockchain for what is best. But only do it if you don't easily get offended. The guy puts out great content. Um, he puts he, And he, has, he adds something to the space that's not out there. So I recommend that you check him out. Actually, ironically enough, Blockchain for what is best is the one who I think is, is, the, is his videos that, if I remember right, Fat I Am, actually saw his videos first 
uh, and found out about proof of weak hands 3D. The crazy thing is then FAFIM, this is a little drama, not drama, but it is what it is. FAFIM was a little disappointed when blockchain for what is best at one point left, sold everything out, left P3D, was off in the other virtual contract space. And I think he just saw, I, I think the one thing that he would agree with on the P3D space is that it seems currently to have the most stable development team currently. Now, anything can happen in the future. I, I think he would agree with that. But he comes back and he comes back and then FAFIM is gone. I mean, it's crazy. It's ironic. It is what it is. But we're all individuals. These are great channels to follow all in the smart contract space. I'll put links below. 3D Crypto, P3D, Heme. This guy is solid. He's one of the, the old guards, the originals, the most consistent long-termer. Um, I don't know who first was paying attention to P3D, he or I, but uh, we were both in very long. I think he started making videos about it before I did. Fat I am, phenomenal guy, great character. An independent thinker as well, just a different type of thinker. Crypto Yardy, entertaining, off the chart, a lot of fun, very serious about this space, very creative at the same time. Blockchain for what is best, probably the most independent thinker, um, easily offended, offensive, does not have an internal filter and does not care that he does not have an internal filter. I can't help but appreciate that, even though I probably disagree with half of what the guy says. I still appreciate who he is and uh, and what his, his motives are, because I think his motives are are genuine. So check out their channels. These are phenomenal guys. The absolute best YouTubers, in my opinion, in the smart contract space without question. Thank you so much. And I hope, I don't know if these guys even watch my channel. I know Blockchain for What Is Best does and I know Yardy does. Um, but I hope they all see my channel and they know that there's at least one audience member out there that really appreciates the time and effort they put into their videos. Thank all of you gentlemen.